Virgin! 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 Guys, it's officially the first of December! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and oh my gosh, can you believe that it's the 1st of December? I am so excited for Christmas, like, first of all, can we just deep the, the hairstyle? Do you guys remember, like, when we were, like, in secondary school and you'd be rocking up to school for this hairstyle? I don't know if you can see it too tough. I didn't do it, um, like, very neat because, as you can tell, my hair is very messy and needs to get redone. But for the time being, this is how it's looking and my eyebrows are very thick because I haven't got them done in a while and I'm... I need to make the time to go to my lady and do them because every time I go somewhere else, I just mess up. But it's the first of December. Um, the first of December. It's currently twelve thirty-one. And yeah, so before I start, if anybody is new here and doesn't know who I am, my name is Shneek Robinson. I am a mother of one. I have one little girl called Taya, and she's actually going to be one years old next month, which is absolutely crazy to me. I don't understand how she's gonna be one already like i just had her in january like how is it gonna be january already um so yeah i live in my own flat i live alone it's just me Tay, and my partner who's also Tay's dad um and yeah i upload a whole bunch of different stuff i don't have like specific stuff that i upload i upload days in my life week in my life shopping hauls i always do my food shopping hauls uh if i buy like clothes clothes hauls um yeah i don't have an uploading schedule at the moment but hopefully come the new years i will think of one and get that started but yeah so if you haven't already um seen me before you'd like to see me then continue watching but guys it's officially um hot chocolate season like i'd be i'd be like drinking like hot chocolate all throughout the year not gonna lie but it's officially officially hot chocolate season so i've got my hot chocolate and my little sr mug i don't have any whipped cream or marshmallows because first of all i don't like whipped cream and second uh i don't have any marshmallows um but guys i'm really excited for christmas i think the reason why i'm so excited is one because i'm in my own flat this year like usually i'm with family but this year it's like my own flat so i got to decorate i didn't decorate the whole entire flat but i got to like pick my tree pick my decorations do that myself got a little few items here and there that i'm gonna show you guys um and then i have some other stuff like christmas year like decorations that i just haven't put anywhere i don't know where to put them but yeah i'm really excited i think i'm really excited also because it's gonna be Taya's first christmas right now as i'm recording this the first of december she's 10 months old she'll be 11 months old on the 23rd of december so christmas day she'll be 11 months old and um Taya, i just i think i'm excited to see her like open like all her gifts and stuff because when i have like deliveries and stuff come sorry if you can see that when i have like deliveries and stuff come she's always trying to open them with me so i can only imagine christmas day when like it comes to her opening her gifts I think that's why i'm really excited like starting new traditions because you know it's our first year in our own place we want to set new traditions now that we have taya and know that it's just going to be like this is the start of like our christmases together forever hopefully you know hopefully no we're not talk too much but i hope that you know this is our um start of like our forever thing basically so i'm chatting way too much so already three minutes um so yeah you guys have the pleasure of seeing me upload 25 different videos over 25 days from today until christmas day which is the 25th of december it's a challenge i did attempt vlogmas last year it didn't go well i think i got up to like day five and couldn't upload anymore i was near enough nearly eight nine months pregnant it just it just wasn't it it just wasn't the right time but um yeah this year i'm on it me and my fr i've got friends that i do vlogmas as well i'm so excited to watch their videos like we've all been like planning like we all like have this little group chat I'm like oh yeah what are you uploading this day what are you uploading this way i have a schedule i don't want to show you too much but i kind of planned in my diary of course like all the days like well, all the days but like most of them what i plan to do let me show you guys a little sneak peek so obviously here is day one which i'm doing now we've got up to there um so i've got like options you know like so yeah not every day i've planned something but most days i kind of have and they're like in our little group chat we kind of like message i'm like oh, okay what are you uploading this day what times are you going to be uploading i don't know what times i'm going to be uploading i do aim to upload by 7 p.m every day um hopefully that goes to plan but sometimes when you upload it it just takes so long especially because i have to keep changing my intro song but oh my gosh it's nearly five minutes let me tell you guys what's going on today you're not going to be seeing too much of my face 
um in today's video i did already put my christmas tree up i think i put it up about a couple days ago i did i do have a few clips i don't have a lot because i got very annoyed putting up that tree and putting in decorations so i have a few clips of me putting up the tree which i will insert after this clip and then after that you might see my face but i'm just going to show you right now an in-depth tree tour is that what you call it um of how my tree looks now with the lights off and then with the lights on just kind of explaining stuff gonna show you my new shirt that i have that um i just put a few christmasy stuff on it so i'll show you that too and anywhere else in the flat that i've put any christmasy stuff i will show you and then at the end of this you're gonna see a haul from the range explaining all my christmas like all like shown showing all my christmas decorations and then where i got them from so that's the stockings that's today's christmas eve box that's decorations on the tree where i got the tree from all of that good stuff so that's today's video so you're not going to be seeing too much of my face but i hope you really do enjoy this and keep watching <laughs> Guys, are you ready to see my tree? Three, two, one. Ta -da! This is my tree. Um, let me just explain. So my tree is actually a grey ombre tree. So as you can see, it goes from dark grey to light grey. Excuse to hear there. Um, I didn't go too. I don't think I went too crazy with the decorations. Let me tell you, the back doesn't have much on it um because you can't really see the back but the front i feel like my tree needs a bit more excuse me why are you banging on my tree uh <laughs> i feel like my tree needs a bit more on it let me explain you see this flower thing here i actually got this from b&m you guys will see in the next clip uh it's super cute i put it just like that i'm gonna go back to b&m hopefully friday or tomorrow whenever and get about four more you know, on, until now, she's never been interested in my tree. Anyway, excuse, uh, 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 uh. I think she wants the lights to go on. Yeah, I feel like my tree just needs some more of those flower things because I can see empty gaps. Like, I don't know if you can see here and there and like here. There's like some gaps where like more um, of those flower things can go. See these white bows? I got them off of eBay. I did actually order another pack of five. So those should be coming saturday i think it said by saturday so i'm just gonna scatter them around the tree a bit more and they get some of those flowers to go on it but my theme that i've gone with is um is blush pink and white my original theme was blush pink and mint green but i couldn't find any mint green ones so i just had to go with um white which i'm very happy with how it looks we've got some personalized ones so for example this says baby's first christmas super cute with, like the little pink stars inside and then here we have one that says Tears First Christmas 2021 and it's got like the little fake snow inside. We do have another one. I can't remember what I personalised it to say. If I did put it to say um, First Christmas Together 2021 or our first Christmas in our first home or something like that. I can't remember when it comes. I will show you guys whichever day it comes. Then we just have these little Eiffel Towers. I wasn't originally going to put these on my tree. I literally just bought them to put them on something as decoration but i quite like how it looks on the tree so there's two of them might go back to panel and get some more and then you just kind of have different kind of detailing on the white ones so they all look um quite different and then here you can only literally see like a little bit left of my tree skirt it's from b&m so cute uh 
don't know if you guys can see the amount of gifts under this tree already if i move these there's like so much more under there excuse that tear spilt sign yesterday so i've got to clean that i'm sure some whatever she spots done on the presents as well but yeah there's literally so much gifts under here already and i still have like a ton of deliveries coming for gifts for Taya, shanae and alistair and i know alistair hasn't put any of his gifts under and neither has shanae yet because um shanae will be spending christmas with us and then yeah so anything else that i've done is i've just got one tinsel going across here because there's not actually windows in there annoyingly but it's fine i've done that I'm trying to think but yeah i'm trying not to show myself in the mirror because you know my top half looks good not the bottom half but this is how my tree looks it's six foot i myself i'm really happy with this tree i think i've done really good especially for being my first year um yeah so that's how my tree looks guys i just realized i didn't even show you guys my tree with the lights on so three two one here's my tree with the lights on i love it with the lights on because it kind of gives it like a bluey effect and then here, tears are falling everywhere, is my new shoe stand. I think I did insert a clip. I did film a clip. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but you guys will see it somewhere. So this is my new shoe stand. It's one that you kind of just um, pull it and then the shoes are in there. Scoot the dirty shoes. So, yeah, how I decorated it is I did get these from B&M, which you guys will see. I got two, so I put one on either end. Then my little house is from Poundland. I put one on either end as well. This snow globe, I got... Oh, shake it i got from sainsbury's um which i think is so nice so that's kind of the centerpiece for this whole shoe stand it goes in the middle because it's so nice then i just got my rediffuser and candle that came in the same set i believe it's the warm vanilla and white mask candle and rediffuser i like this candle every night it smells amazing and then here I'm so bad. I don't know what this is called, but I love it. I call it my little brown plant. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hello? She's not even touching it, you know. She's touching the back of the wall. But yeah, I got that. I need to get a vase for it. It's currently in my saving tin. I had to empty the saving tin into another one and use this. So yeah, excuse that. But this is how um, my pair is looking. I don't like too much stuff like I love Christmas I don't like like too much red or green or whatever so I think you're not really seeing any red or green things yet but um I like how it just looks minimalist but at the same time it looks nice and like sophisticated which is the vibe I was kind of going for so I absolutely love how this looks all right excuse the mess I'm just going to show you guys an overview of everything that I got so I tried to like lay everything out as best as I could um just so you guys can see everything that I have like I said some people think this is a lot some people think that this is nothing but this is obviously in my first year living alone having to buy stuff and this is everything I was able to get so we're gonna start off here these were the few items I got off of Etsy and oh my gosh there's one more thing but I'll show it at the end um i will have to go find it but the first thing that i got are these free stockings um so this one just has like a um head on it which says daddy which is for alistair taya has a pink one with a little teddy bear with a pink christmas hat on it and it's got snowflakes and obviously it just says her name tear at the top and then my one just has like a little bear on it and it says mummy which is obviously for myself and um these we can keep for a few years and if we was ever to have another child within the next few years if it was a girl i can get another one like this for her name or if it's a boy i could just get a blue one i mean alistair could keep these ones until years come and we decide to change same with that tay also has her own personalized bauble um actually let me take this out for you guys so you can see it i haven't even taken it out yet to be honest so it looks like this and it just says Tears First Christmas 2021. This is something that you can just keep for years, I believe. I love getting personalised stuff for her because I can, obviously as she outgrows it, I can just keep them until I'm like old. And sitting, you know, sitting, going through boxes when you're old, saying, oh my gosh, I believe, I remember when I ordered this and da da da. So it has fake snow inside of it. it has a nice pink bow um, to hang. It's so cute. And then obviously the writing is in pink as well 
and i just love this so it's super cute so i did get another thing off i got tay's outfit off of etsy which i will show you guys at the end and i also got her christmas eve box off of etsy which i'll show you at the end i did also get her personalized bib but that hasn't arrived yet but that's everything from etsy for now moving on to the stuff i got from the range i believe it's just all of this stuff i did just record a video so which the video should be up by the time you're watching this but just for those that didn't watch that video i will just quickly go through everything so these are like a whole bunch of baubles that i got from the range obviously they sell them separately um these are white ones because like i said my theme now is pink and white because i couldn't find the green um so i got some clear ones white ones matte ones yep i got this one that says baby's first christmas because i thought that was really cute and it's just got like pink confetti um confetti stars inside it's got a pink ribbon and super cute next thing i have is just like this decorational piece which is just like a christmas box it lights up but it does need batteries so i do need to go find batteries for that then i just have my christmas tree lights which are pink and white um it says it's for a five foot tree my tree six foot hopefully it doesn't look too bad i'll just have to kind of play around with it to try and make it look decent next thing i have is my star which if you cannot tell it actually has it's mirrored inside which is super cool and sorry guys and that is just goes with my theme because it's pink and it's nice so i got that next thing i got was just these two candles for decorational pieces i don't know if i'm gonna put this on my shoe rack um or i'll put it on my window so my kitchen not too sure yet we'll see once i start decorating and where i think it looks nice next thing i have here are just two um two meter tinsels in a matte shiny color super cute that's for my tree next thing i have is just this star it's a large bow velvet bow for my door the inside of my door this i was planning to put outside my door but i think i might hang it on the bathroom door instead i'm not too sure yet so that is everything that i got from the range next moving on to ebay i did only get one thing and it was this and it's this five pack of white and silver bows this is to go on my tree so there's the hooks um because i just love seeing bows on trees so yeah i think that's a really girly thing i'm not too sure i got told that that's a really girly thing but i just really like it so i got bows next moving on to poundland let me tell you guys poundland is actually doing bits when it comes to christmas decor um obviously every poundland is different and they sell different stuff but um i really like these stuff that i got they had so much more stuff that was so nice but i just kept thinking to myself that i had so much stuff already so i needed to not buy so much but yeah first thing i got was just these little this little gingerbread man house i think this was literally a pound and it's so cute and these are like one of those like those type of ornaments that you collect and you kind of just keep for ages and um as the years go by you just um you know build up your collection so this is the start of my little you know ornament collection for christmas because i just love these kind of ornament stuff and hopefully when i move um within the next couple of years into a bigger place i can buy like the little ornament things that move um you know like the little like christmas houses but you know you can see inside the windows and they're moving and stuff i would love to be able to collect those but for now while i'm in a small flat these will do so this is just a little gingerbread man house which is super cute it's got the little um wreath on it got the door and the windows and then here is just like a little pink house with a little chimney door window and a little christmas tree super cute i don't know where these are going yet i'm not even gonna lie to you guys but they were cute and they were too cute to pass up on and they were literally only like a pound each so i got those next thing i got were these two eiffel towers from poundland and then realized that one was broken couldn't find a receipt and honestly i just haven't had the time to take it back but although these are to hang on your tree i'm gonna lay them down so you see it better although they are to hang on the tree i was actually just gonna put them to stand somewhere so it's more like decoration like around the flat instead of on the tree which i guess once i put it to stand and put it at an angle i guess it's just wouldn't be like very noticeable apart from the fact it's shaking but um yes yeah, so i don't know where i'm gonna put these yet but um what's that don't know where i'm gonna put these yet but i will definitely find somewhere for them because they were too cute to pass up on i think they're one pound fifty each from poundland 
And then the last two things I got from Poundland are these little boots. I was originally going to get one and I was like, no, one would look odd. I had to get two. I'm going to show you what it's like laying down. It's just so cute. It's um, rose gold glitter with the white fur on top. Super cute. I might put this like by my front door. I don't know. Oh, because I think most people put these under their tree for decoration until presents go under. But obviously, I have so much gifts that are already gonna like already ready to go under the tree. So I don't know what I'm gonna do this year. Might put by my front door. Um, you know, we'll see. But those are super cute. So those are just a few little stuff I got from Poundland. I would lie to you guys if I said that I wasn't gonna get any more stuff. I probably will. I know myself. Um, if I do, you guys will see them in my Vlogmas videos because Vlogmas starts very soon. Um, but yeah, that's all that I accumulated from Poundland. Not too much, but you know, it's a little start, you know. Next thing, this is what I got from Sainsbury's. Oh, I didn't say Sainsbury's. I got stuff from Sainsbury's. I think I got this like day before yesterday. I got this Monday evening and it's so cute. Let me just shake it. It's like a um, snow globe. Uh, let me shake it but it's a gold one it's got snowflake in it and then it's got gold glitter you gotta shake it and it's just so cute this was 18 pound from sainsbury's um it just looks so nice i need to find somewhere to put this um but super cute oh i just love it so much and then moving on to the last place which is b and m first of all i'm gonna show you this which Show you this which is my tree skirt which is white and gold i was gonna go for a pink one and asa told me that i'm doing too much pink so um yeah got this one it was 10 pound it's the luxury forks for a sequin tree skirt so this is how it would look under the tree and this is how it looks super cute absolutely in love so because i hate like seeing the bottom of a tree like absolutely hate it but yeah next thing that I got from B&M was just this decoration. I did originally get two. They're two by 50 each, but Nan now has one. Um, super cute, just pink with like gold detailing on it. Um, it's for my tree. Don't know if I'm gonna put it on my tree yet or I'm just gonna have it like sit somewhere as like decoration because I think that itself looks very nice. I don't know yet, guys. I just have to kind of experiment. This is like the fun thing about um, like having my first Christmas on my own at home is the fact that um i just get to play around with stuff and experiment and do stuff how i like it how i want it next thing i got were these two um glitter stags if you can see that that's how they look super cute um like i said i'm just collecting stuff these were four pound for the two super cute um again i don't know where i'm gonna put these you guys will see when i'm decorating my flat for christmas in my vlogmas videos but i will find somewhere for these but they were super cute and i had to get them next thing that i got were these six um luxury baubles these were three pound fifty um really cute so this one's obviously got pink with like gold detailing this one's like gold and then this one's like another pink one with like a different gold detail into it super cute then i got this one um again three pound fifty part of the luxury collection which are just pink and gold these are really nice um the detailing on them are beautiful and i love the fact that they have like the little kind of like scratch marks on them i know that's obviously supposed to be there that's the style it just makes them look a bit more authentic and i just love these so i got those and then the last thing i got from b m was this big bag so this was 10 pound and it's 51 pieces and included in the 51 pieces as you can see it says here so you just have 16 metallic baubles eight glitter baubles eight decorated baubles 10 metallic four glitter four decorated and one glitter star tree topper obviously as you can tell there are different sizes you've got six centimeters eight centimeters and then a 20 centimeter star which you can see the star at the top but obviously i'm not going to use this star wasn't the biggest fan of how it looked i am actually going to be using the star i did buy from the range but yeah so this is how you can see you can see the different sizes you can see big ones smaller ones just different styles it's just super cute you've got plain ones you've got patterned ones you've got 
textured ones, got ones that have more detailing than the others. At the bottom, you can see some more. Super cute. And yes, that is literally. Oh, uh, and this. This is all I know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I think I'm just gonna get like a tool vase for it and then fill the vase at the bottom with like a little fake um, diamante glitter thing and then put this on top. Super cute, super Christmassy, but I ain't just gonna use this during Christmas. I'm just gonna use that all year round because I don't see why not. But yeah, this is literally everything decoration wise that I've accumulated for Christmas. Um, like I said, some might think it's a lot, some might not. But I am very happy with everything that I purchased. And I believe I do have majority of the stuff that I need. Enough to put up my tree and enough to decorate my flat. And I feel like once I've put like all of these somewhere, then I can see like if I'm missing something and if I am what it is. But I'm very glad that I'm off to a good start. First year, good start. And then right there, excuse the mess, like I said, there is my Christmas tree. It's a very non-traditional one, if I must say myself. I hate green trees. Like, I hate with a passion green trees. I've never seen, like, a nice green tree. I think the only nice green trees that I've seen are, like, the ones that have, like, the fake snow already on them. But, I mean, like, everyone was telling me if I wanted this tree, just get it. Because maybe, like, in a few years' time, as I get older, in like, five, ten years' time, my style will change. I might grow to love green trees i was gonna get a white one but um yeah i just didn't when i saw this one basically i just fell in love with it it's a great ombre tree so it goes obviously as you can see on the box i'm just saying in um it goes from dark gray all the way up to light gray it's six foot but yeah so this is everything i've got So guys, that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And yeah, so that's basically how my tree looks, how I've kind of, you know, put stuff on the tree, where I've put the stockings, what I've done to the shoe rack, um, a haul of everything I got from the range, um, B&M, the tree that's from Argus, Etsy, Sainsbury's, everywhere that I got stuff from. I hope you guys really did enjoy vlogging this day one. You didn't see too much of me. I hope that's okay. Um, if you are new and you did enjoy today's video and you would love to see more of me and my family, please do hit the subscribe button and press the nail notific bell notification button so that you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2. Bye guys.